Hey guys, I'm Ozio, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading our ore processing and we'll also be automating um, a water supply for our steam boiler here. As you can see, we've got a, a forge hammer, so if we just uh, chuck something in there, um, you'll notice its output is essentially just like one item. Uh, basically, what I've been using it for is to essentially crush um, our ores like iron ore into crushed ore um, so I can actually use it. Uh, but unfortunately that's a, you know, was it 50% cutting uh, losses, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a macerator today as well. So we're going to essentially double our ore processes, yeah, processing words I cannot say sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to, uh, actually, well, we're not going to bank them because they're pretty easy, the recipe hasn't changed. So we're just going to get a redstone engine, a pump, uh, you're going to use a saw and a soft hammer with uh, some oak, oak blocks uh, to get ourselves some wooden pipes. Uh, you can use the copper pipes or bronze pipes um, if you want, but of course they're more expensive than just using wood. Uh, mind you, you only want to use the stuff for water really. Uh, anything that's got any heat will make them catch on fire, which as you can imagine is not a good idea. So we'll just make them first, and we'll make the mass ray wall here as well. So you need two diamonds, um, luckily I found some. Um, okay. uh, Ron's hole, and two pistons. So it's a fairly easy one to make, um, the only difficult is finding the diamonds of course. Okay, we've got that, now we just need to set up our um, pump, so I'm going to place it above this uh, water source here, uh, where is it, there it is, like that, I'm going to put the redstone engine, I should just put it behind it, yeah, like that, have I got a lever, I think I'd have a lever, but I don't, there we go, I've Got 64 of them. I have 65 of them now. Okay, before we get that one pumped up, uh, it's gonna run the groundwork. Have I made too much? Or not enough? Probably not enough, but um, to automatically feed water into these uh, small coal boilers, uh, you'll notice that the sides here all have out output holes. Um, the bottom, however, does not. Make sure you don't put it on the outside because that's a uh, that automatically opens up the steam port. And, uh, the hot steam will come out of these uh, uh, wooden pipes and then they will catch on fire. And probably my whole base will catch on fire. As you can imagine, this section here made of cobblestone is exactly for that reason because water. Oh, no, I'm actually going to make more. Have I got more? I shall more wood, yes, more wood. I'll have to make some more. Okay, quickly, quickly. Soft at the bottom. Uh, where's the saw? And the saw at the top. There we go, six. I'll leave them in for the time being. Okay, so let's just see how much wood is in here to begin with. Okay, it's full already. That's not what, what I was looking for. Actually, if I break it, does it keep? There may be steam in there, so this could end up bad. No, nothing happened. Oh. What was the? Where's my wrench? Did you break? No, good, good, excellent. Now I can right click on it. Okay, so now it's got no water. That's good. Okay, so now we can start this pumping, and unfortunately you can't see what's inside the pipes. And there should be water coming through at some point. Some point. This is going to be hilarious if this doesn't happen. Uh, come on.
Well, let's see if that's connected at the bottom. Did it connect? It looks like it connected. There we go, water! Yay! Okay, so it's a little bit slow. I'll see if I put more engines, this will go faster. So we've got water, we might as well, we're going to need a little bit of steam now. This is the macerator. Uh, we're going to get our small copper pipes so we can reroute some steam. And then reroute it, uh, reroute it. Um, well, actually, the outlet's going to be on that side, so it uh, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to put our steam macerator down. And as you can tell, um, there is an outlet here. Obviously, we're going into an inlet, or we're going into an outlet, so we're going to have to change the uh, steam output side. So we're just going to get the wrench and right click on one of the sides. So now steam will come out the side, so be careful. If it outputs any steam, you can get hurt, of course. Okay, that should be right. And we're going to chuck some. I'm going to just chuck my iron on there. And it should. And it's probably building up steam now, isn't it? Because we broke this naturally. I'll be right back once we get this thing uh, filled with steam and working. And I'm back, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's now working, making quite a bit of noise. It is slower than the hammer, but of course, we are getting a uh, double output. And. Is it stuck? Does it keep on going? Stuck halfway. Oh, no, there we go, it's still going. It's almost there. Oh, you can probably just quit the video now, because let's face it, you now we're going to get two pieces of things like that. <laughs> no need to wait for it to... Oh, almost. There we go, and then obviously the steam came out the side this time. Change the side. And now we've crunched we've got double the iron ore on that one. Yeah, so I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, if you want to see anything, let me know, of course, as well. And into... Oh, actually, like this video and subscribe do it or something like something will happen the sun will come up tomorrow yeah until next time guys ready aim fire